What's up guys, welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going for a test drive on a 1970 Pontiac GTO. This one's got the original 400 under the hood. It's got power steering upgraded, power brakes. Checking this thing out, we're gonna take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. So go to maplemotors.com, look at the detailed pictures we provide, point out chips, scratches, or any kind of flaws. Also, look at the finance options and the shipping options we have. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, and hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. That does help me out quite a bit, so I hope you do so. As of right now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, look around the interior, get her started. Check out the dash. Pretty good shape. Got some gauges below, let her warm up. 25, 30 on the oil pressure. Place your bets, do you think the horn works on this one? We'll be trying everything out as in the radio. It's already all the way up. The radio is not working on this one. Um, AC maybe? No, no AC. Blower motor's working though. I can hear it blowing. I think it's just blowing out the floor and the dash, not coming out the vents. So we know our blower motor's working. What about washer, I mean wipers? Wiper and washer. Nothing's going on there. The tack is working on the dash there. See it coming up. Look around the interior, seats, carpet, all that stuff looks good in this thing. Nice and clean, package tray, decent shape. Uh, headliner, definitely a mechanics headliner. It needs to be stretched out. It's new, but it's wrinkly. And we got the light cover. Usually don't see the horn. Are you ready? Hey, it works. Good deal. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. All right, guys, anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. So we're going to be checking over how she runs and drives, how the brakes feel, and uh, suspension, uh, throttle, anything I see. We'll also get some undercarriage shots throughout this video. Try to have a little bit of fun here. Gas gauge is pegged all the way on the full mark. I don't know if it's working or not, but we'll go to the gas station. Probably put a little bit in here and just check. That way we don't run out. A lot of times when these cars are transported here, uh, they, they can't have over a quarter tank, so they usually drain it all the way down. That's why we get so many with no gas. Eventually the traffic will let up. We'll take off. All right, let's do it. Speedometer's coming up on the dash there. Car's going straight as an arrow down the road. Steering's tight as soon as I turn, it turns. It's definitely low geared. I was making sure I wasn't in a lower gear. It's got a good amount of power. That kick down is not hooked up on this one. But, I mean, low gear, I don't think you need it. Brakes, brakes feel good. We're stopping quick. Turn signals are popping up on the dash, and we got a good amount of gap there. So far, so good on this one. Engine temperature's at 170. Oil pressure's around 20. the original motor she's got plenty of power plenty of pep she geared low she's shifting nice and smooth and the suspension on this thing is like a boat soft everything that we're hitting is just soft barely feel it And the speedometer is correct. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna pull up in here. I'm gonna get some fuel. I'll put about twenty dollars worth of premium gas in this ride, and we'll keep on rolling. No, no reason in checking the gas gauge. It's pegged all the way out right now. That means it's unhooked. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I put about $20 of gas in this ride here. You put it in, in the back. Looks like it's got a new tank. Nice and fresh. We'll go ahead and get her started. Leave out of here. We know we ain't gonna run out. Got you on the Wildlands again. You can see most of the car when I do this super view. Now we're gonna head back to the lot, point out any kind of flaws I could find. So at the end of this clip, you'll be picking out the flaws with me. On the outside, interior, under the hood, we'll start her up again, check the trunk out. Hopefully you like the slow mos Before the slow mo, check the turn signals and headlight. And of course after, I pass over the second time, it shows the tail lights and the turn signals. Something new that I added. Hey, if you got any other suggestions, put it below. I'll consider putting it in the video. Also, uh, we got some merchandise below in the description. Go check it out, see what you like. I got three different designs of muscle car t-shirts. Also got hoodies, solo cups, uh, all kinds of different things on there. Just go check it out. So far with this one, the engine temperature hasn't even hit 180. I mean, I've literally been running around the parking lot for 30, 45 minutes, getting these exterior shots. Definitely geared low. That's where that explosion of power is coming from. <laughs> Whole front end picks up on this one. It's pretty cool. Come down one. Very 
tighten the steering, suspension, throttle, brakes. This car is ready to be driven. the corner from the car a lot be sure to hit subscribe share and hit like that does help me out quite a bit and i do need your help so i thank you in advance i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you here in just a moment thanks again guys later What's up guys, welcome back. Now we're gonna walk around this car, point out chips, scratches, and any kind of flaws I could find. Should be fairly easy. This one's uh, got a beautiful paint job on it. Let's start up here in the front. I went ahead and opened the hood in the trunk so I'm not fumbling keys and hitting the camera against the car or anything crazy like that. Coming up here on the front end, first thing I notice is the uh, headlight bezels have got some age on them. See the pitting? around the front end same with these on this side and some pitting up in the corners and your grill here has got a couple little scratches it's got a little spot there a little spot there Went on down the lower portions first. Tires are in great shape. Looks like a little crease is down here. It's very light. Down the lower portions here. Back bumper's in awesome shape. You can definitely tell that's new. Or just been taken care of. Coming back midsection. Nice clean door handles. Oh, a bird got me. Coming back over the top of the fender. Looking over your vinyl top, kind of want to look at the edges of this. And that feels nice and smooth. And fill any rust up under there. Trim around the window looks good. Window looks good. Your mirror there is in good shape. You got a little rust right there on the ball. Your weather stripping's in great shape over here. It's pretty cool. around the back window here just kind of filling around you got a couple dings on your trim right there your back window is actually in great shape you see a little bit of that top or that uh mechanics headliners hanging <laughs> coming up on the back you got dual exhaust with the four tips nice and clean your jams are good, your weather stripping's good.
You can tell your trunk lid's in good shape. All the edges are nice and clean. This car has definitely been taken care of. The trunk, solid. Somebody's definitely re-spattered it. Probably had a little service rust or something before. It's nice and clean now. And that's just a guess. Looking up in your package tray. All right. Sorry, I had some friends walk up on me, trying to scare me. Like I said, we were looking around in the trunk here, checking everything out. Let's go ahead and shut this lid. And it's locked. Huge wing on this car. Coming across the back. Got a dark shadow right there in the paint. It's a very clean vinyl top. All right, we're gonna go down this side, lower portion first, back to midsection. Get a little overspray right there. Back mid section. A couple of tiny little scratches there that should come off. A little scuff here, that'll come off. There's a little spot right here in the paint. Looks like a little wax will take that out too. All right, we made it all the way around this ride. Let's go ahead and start her up. Check out the interior. Buzzer's working. Seats in this one are in great shape. Little scuff on top here, it's dirt, will come off. Get that buzzer to stop. Looking at the door panel, you can definitely tell it's been replaced. <clears throat> Weather stripping looks good around the door. Jam, super clean. Carpet's clean. Back seat. Package tray. Headliner, wrinkly. It's new though, so get that stretched out. All right, I walked away from the car for quite a long time uh, and showed them around the lot, so. She probably cold again. Let's turn the key and just see where she's at. Yeah. It's not coming down yet. Let's start her up. There it goes. It's coming down now. Yeah, she got a little cold on us. About 150. Oil pressure's up.
up under your hood it's nice and clean near spotless got a little dirt on it no chips coming on down with the hood a little stiff there but look at her she falls Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. It helps me out quite a bit when you do that. So I thank you in advance. Check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping information. You can definitely get finance on this car or any car on the lot. And every Monday at 11, we update with new inventory. So if you check at 11, you can be one of the first people to see some of the stuff that you see sell so fast up here. We get about 60 cars a month. And if you come in person, you get to see the stuff that we're working on prior to the next week. We do sell about 20% of our inventory before it's ever listed. Of course, if I got the video done, I will just mark sold on it and list the car. We'll go ahead and throw it out there so you can see what we have gotten in. That way, if you get curious, come on up to Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. We're open every... Uh, Monday through Friday, 10 to 5. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to go grab another ride.